So today I'm going to be showing you how to do this glitter cut crease. So if you want to see how I got this gorgeous glittery cut crease, then keep on watching. So first of all, I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. And I'm just going to go over and do my brows. I won't show you too much detail because it does take quite a long time. But you can see the process that I do. I'm using a Sigma small angled brush. And I'm just going in and creating that shape. Now I'm going in with this HD cream foundation around my brows to clean up. I like to use this product because it is full coverage, but it's really easy to move around on the skin and blend out. I'm just using a small flat brush just to blend that out. Now I'm going in with the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette. I love this palette, I'm still obsessed with that. So I'm just going in with Desert Sand all over, just so it's a powdered base. And I started going in with Eden, and then I remembered I forgot to do the tape. So then I had to go back in and do tape, and then get back to doing Eden. I'm using Eden as a transition colour in my crease. Then I'm going in with Blazing, which is a gorgeous orange. I'm placing this in my crease line just below the transition colour so that I can blend it into the transition colour as I blend it out. And I just blended it for ages to make it really smooth. Now I'm going in with this gorgeous purple amethyst and again I'm going in with the crease. I'm just going to gently blend that back and forth and I'm packing it into the crease because I really want it to be pigmented and bold. And then I'm going back in with blazing just to go over the top of the crease because I kind of lost the brightness of the orange. And now I'm going in with Royal which is this gorgeous metallic purple. I'm just packing that on the outer corner and then blended it into the crease. Now I'm going with Ooh just over the top to really darken the edges. Going back in with the foundation to cut the crease. Now I just take my time, I have got hooded eyes so I go above my actual crease to create a crease on my eye. I just carefully map out the shape and then start pulling downwards and then fill in the rest of the shape. Like I said, take your time, there is no rush and I have to be careful not to blink so I don't transfer. So when I've cut my crease and I finish, I go in with some powder just to set the foundation. Now I'm going in with a Nafiti, which is this gorgeous shimmery gold. You can really see it shine in here. So now I'm going in with my Sigma Wicked Gel Liner and a Sigma Winged Liner Brush. I'm just slowly mapping out my wing liner I was kind of out the shot for this, I didn't realise, but this was the footage that I could kind of save, so you can just see me doing it. And then peel back the tape to reveal a gorgeous sharp winged look. So now I'm going in with Barry Amic Glitter Fix Gel, I'm just putting that all over the gold. And I could have left the eye look here, but I wanted some more glitter. It is a festive glam look after all. I'm just going in and packing on this Desert Bronze Glitter from Barium. It is a gorgeous copper colour. I love this glitter. And it's super sparkly.
Now I'm just going in with my eyeliner just to clean up on the liner where some glitter's gone. I've done it this way because if I then now did my liner it'd be bumpy. So I'm going in with these gorgeous lashes. And I'm just going to repeat the colours that I used on the top of the eyelid to go on the lower lash line. And now I'm going in with some mascara just to blend my lashes and then add some volume to my bottom lashes. And that is the finished eye look. I hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, remember to click like and subscribe. And if you want to see any more festive looks, then let me know down below.